Magic Candies by Hannah Beck. I play on my own. It's not all that bad playing alone. The other kids don't realize how much fun playing with marbles is. They always only play with one another, never with me. So I decided I'll just play by myself. I need some new marbles. Oh, I've never seen marbles like these before. Those are hard candies. They're very sweet, said the shopkeeper. Ah, that makes sense. They're all different colors and shapes and sizes. Which one should I try first? This pattern looks very familiar. Wow, it's so minty. I can feel cold air coming out of my ears. All of a sudden, I heard a strange sound coming from the living room. Dong, 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 dong. Hey, dong, dong. Over here, here, here. <gasps> I swallowed. And after that, I could hear it even more clearly. Hey, Dong Dong, it's me, Sofa, your house Sofa. The remote, the remote, it's, oh, it's stuck in my side. It, it hurts. Ouch, ow, ow. It's the Sofa, the Sofa's talking. That's where the remote control is. We've been looking all over for it since last Sunday. Dad even got angry at me saying I didn't put it back in its place. I worked up all my courage and went over to the sofa. That's it, that's it. Now, there's just one more thing I have to say. I need you to tell your dad to give the farting a rest. I can't take it, the, the stink. Tell him, please, don't sit here. Sit here and, and fart. Gulp. When the candy in my mouth had all melted away, the voice was gone too. This candy is really strange. I wonder. Listen, Tong Tong. <gasps> I knew it. There's something you've been misunderstanding for a while now. What's that? It's not that I don't like you. Then why do you keep running off? <sighs> oh, now I get it. It's because playing with me is boring, isn't it? You're misunderstanding again. The thing with dogs is we yawn when we're nervous. Really? Then why are you always avoiding me? It's not because I don't like you, it's because I'm so old, I just want to lie down all the time. Ah, I see, I'm sorry for dragging you around everywhere. So, I was wondering, would you mind taking off this collar for me? Well, sure, why not? I've lived with marbles for eight years, but today was the first time we ever got to have a conversation. We played together all afternoon. Tong Tong, I'm home. It's Dad. Did you do your homework? Clean up all your toys? You call this clean. Clean up quickly and do your homework. Did you walk marbles? Did you pick up his poop properly? Did you take a plastic bag with you when you went out? Did you wash your hands? If you aren't going to take care of him, you have no right to have a dog. What's with this handwriting? What a mess. Did you find your bike key? Did you write your name on it? What about the remote? 
sit up straight, don't spill your food. Finish what you're eating before you go off to use the bathroom. Make sure you shut the door. Straighten your back and pull your chair right up to the table. Eat some vegetables too. Chew properly with your mouth closed. Did you write down all the school announcements word for word and bring them home? Don't drink water until you're done eating. Don't talk with your mouth full. If there's a letter from school, leave it on the kitchen table. You have to eat all the different things they give you at the school cafeteria. Don't bite your fingernails. Did you feed marbles? Put down some water too. Walk carefully and don't make so much noise. Show me your water bottle. Why didn't you drink all the water? You went to bed without having a shower yesterday too, didn't you? Make sure you shower before bed today and change into fresh underwear. Don't leave your pants turned inside out when you take them off. Rinse your hair properly, only use a little bit of shampoo. You've got suds behind your ears. Go and rinse again. Brush your teeth. Did you floss? Brush your teeth again. You keep coughing. Gargle with mouthwash too. Did you change your underpants? You can wear the same pajamas as yesterday. Put your dirty laundry in the basket. Did you pack your school bag? Double check what you need for your after school activities. Make sure to pack your planner and announcements book. Get out the gym clothes you'll need tomorrow. Read a book. No, not a comic book. I can't hear you. Read it out loud and clear. You only need to use one water cup. Once you're done, give it a good rinse and leave it upside down. You can't eat anything before you go to sleep. Brush your teeth again. Wear a sweater to bed. It's cold. It's 9 o'clock. Quick, off to bed. Ugh, I'm so sick of being bossed around. This is revenge. I decided to eat one of the candies in bed. I chose one as prickly as my bad mood. Again, I started hearing something. I love, I love, I love you. I love you, 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 I love you. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. Me too. I've only got a few candies left. There isn't much that's pink in my life. I wonder whose voice I'll hear this time. Oh, it's soft and there's gum inside. It's bubble gum. I blew a bubble and it flew straight out the window. A while later, it came floating back and popped right next to my ear. Hello, my precious Tong Tong, are you well? <gasps> it's grandma's voice. Can you really hear me, Grandma? I blew a big bubble and sent it off. The bubble came back. Pop! Oh yes, I can hear you perfectly. Don't worry about me. I'm having so much fun here. I've been reunited with all my friends. We run around playing just like we did in the old days. I hope you're playing with your friends too, Tong Tong. Run around and play as much as you can. I rolled the bubble gum into a neat ball and stuck it under the kitchen table. Now I can talk to grandma anytime I want. With this candy, the sound came from outside. Bye, ba bye, ba. Bye, bye. Bye, 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 bye. The very last candy, the see-through one, was totally quiet no matter how much I sucked on it. And so, I decided I might as well speak first. Do you want to play with me?